Hey everybody, welcome to another one-off series here at Brewnomics. I'm Jerry, here with me today is my good friend, Will. Will. Sinclair. Sinclair. You don't have to tell them your last what? name. It's fine. It's fine if they know. I never tell them my last name. I don't want them to know. I don't have anything to hide behind. It's Basco. Um, today's beer is Crooked Fences Tiger Spit. Fourth time he's checked the label. <laughs> It's so late tonight, I'm sorry. It's the Blood Orange Pale Crooked Fence Brewing Company. This one right here from good old Idaho. I've never had this beer before. You had it, Will? I have not had this one. This one is right. a completely new experience for both of us. For both of us. This yeah. is I like trying new and exciting things. Um, so good it's forward. a wit beer. I don't know how much we have, so I'm going to start How much a little. blood orange is in this wit beer? Um, I hope mostly blood and maybe a little bit of orange. That's how I like it, especially this late at night. This late at night, you need some blood. Um, oh, we have way more than that. Okay, cool, good. Yeah. Maybe, well, Vic's still here. Maybe we'll let him try Part some eight. afterwards. Say hi, Vic. Hey, y'all. Uh... All right. So, again, they're from Garden City, Whit Beer. Uh, we checked them out on Untapped first. They have a 3.43 rating overall. Calm your shit, Will. Calm your shit. Just leave the bottle open. Uh, 40 IBUs at 6%. Uh, 333 check ins. That's not too bad. Very respectable. No. Cheers. Good color. Thumbs up. Uh, looks, well, I mean, blood orange, I think, is an apt description. It's a little hazy. Little hazy, I think it's still just settling. It uh, could be the nature of, of the the blood orange in there that tends to make it a little bit hazy. A very effervescent and carbonated. While I'm waiting for my the head of mine to settle a little bit, can we get another shot of this label? It is beautiful. There's a giant tiger on it's, there. It's it's pretty cool. That was a lot of what attracted yeah. to me. I mean, let's be real. That, Don't judge a book by its cover. Do judge oh. a beer by its label. So I think that's I think that's pretty fair. I have room for I think a little bit more beer. Other beer labels out there, you need to step up your game. I don't know. That's one of my favorite thing about like the independent brewing industry uh, is the labeling in general. They tend to be a little bit more artistic. Uh, yes. They're way more yes. intriguing. Let's see. Let's have them. Can you get look at what that beer actually looked like as it settles there? Huh? Does that make you thirsty? Does it make you want to drink it? Make you want to dive in? Makes me want to. Jerry, it's late. I know. I'm excited. It smells orangey. It smells like those orange, you know those orange slices? The gummy orange slices that are really heavily sugar coated? Yeah, it doesn't, to get? doesn't taste like that. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I would not want this to taste. No, it but it smells like that. Do you agree? Smell it. Okay. A little bit. I, I know what you're talking about with, um, yeah, like the sun-kissed fruit snacks or whatever, but... Uh, it has a very crisp taste. I do like the or blood orange. That's a good description. Light? Bubbly? Lively. Very, a lot more light. Weight. What was the alcohol percentage? Oh, only 5%. That actually no, makes sense. That's 5%. I wrote down 6%. Untapped lied! Or maybe I wrote it down wrong. Is there more than one tiger spit? Did I look at the wrong beer? <laughs> You telling me to calm down? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, this is really good though. It's I, a, like it, it. I can it's see a, it be a good summer it's, beer. It's, I don't know if it's a rich. summer activity beer. It's more of a. It, it almost tastes like an IPA. It's very close. I was thinking a pale ale sort of thing. Yeah. I don't know if it's, it's bitter not, it's enough. Not India. Um, for an in, India. That has 40 IBUs according to Untapped and Kiss Word. Well, on the bottle. Again. I'm gonna go with a oh, bo bottle, bottle yeah. on that one. When in doubt, trust the label. Definitely. Oh my gosh, it gives me the hiccups. Could have been the... Some people burp Jerry hiccups. I do both. Could have been a few beers before, but... Um, what would you... So, 3.43 on untapped. Will, what are you going to untap this beer at? Being from, you know, a dark beer background, and then making the transition over to IPA, and now I'm kind of headed back the other way, actually gonna that's actually pretty spot on i'm actually gonna give this a 375 375 wow yeah. okay that's actually because higher than i expected from you i'm not gonna lie well i mean yeah typically i like the darker beer mm -hmm. you know i like the stouts the porters the ambers uh the browns but you know a good ipa on a hot summer day and right now it's just it has been that long of a day uh that yeah it's just hitting the spot like it's one of those things where it's it's almost thirst quenching. 
it is thirst quenching. I say very yeah. refreshing. I was kind of surprised, which you usually don't get from a beer. Usually, you drink a beer and you need some water to kind of yeah quench like, that thirst, as it were. But it's like this does a good cream. job. You ice cream, you need water. Exactly. Water. You you could drink it during the summer. I think it'd be refreshing during the summer. You couldn't drink this and play softball or play dodge or go. No, uh, I don't think in anything like you that. You might be able but, to uh, do the beanbag toss game. The, sure, cornhole. Yeah, you cornhole. Can play that. Some that would be something like this. that. But it, maybe it, some frisbee. But I think I would give it. A three two five. It's no, uh, that's probably solid. That's and that's not a bad rating. And I tend, to, I don't think I've ever rated a beer higher than like four two five. I'm kind of a stickler. There's no such thing as a perfect beer. It depends on my mood for the day, too. But in general, it's also five percent. I like my, I like my beer to have alcohol in it. And usually, five's my bare minimum. It's where I draw the line. If it's below that, don't waste my fucking time. <laughs> I always look at a 5% beer as like, you know what, this is great right at, well, not even I guess I got lunch beer. Like, like, I got yeah. shit to do today, mm -hmm. maybe. But even usually my lunch beers are still like six and a half. I still have to say that I think that this beer would be really good right after mowing the lawn. Yeah. Sure. It's, sure. I like to, you know, some there are certain IPAs that you classify as like a good after. You know, right when you're well, done, you you're hot, you're sticky. It's not a goddamn IPA. Fine, wit beer. Wit beer. Pale ale. Good job, Crooked Fence. Good yeah. job. your beer's right. But, <laughs> well, somebody somebody is confused somewhere. We're also confused. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just the hoppy nature of the industry. I would say... They're going for more flavor. I, well, it, there's more flavor, but I'd also say overall, it's a very drinkable beer. I think most yeah. people, regardless of what style they like, could enjoy this beer. 100%. All right. 100%. So on this in this case, good job, for defense. Yeah. Proud of you. Not that that matters. You probably won't watch this. Yes, you will. Watch it. Where can you find you on on Untapped, Jerry? Um, I guess I'm at the Basco Fiasco on pretty much all my social media handles. But who cares about that? Follow Brunomics. That's the fun one. Yeah. What about you? Where are you at? I'm at Sinclair Will. Super original. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Very creative. That's all right. You did something with it, though. Yeah. You made it my own. with that. Hell yes. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Cheers, Brew Crew. I'm Jerry. I'm Will. Bottoms up.